elementary particles. Since the 19th century, the science of our modern civilization started to use the new view of atom as of the smallest part of chemical element. In 1897, thanks to English physicist Joseph John Thompson, who had established the cathode rays are formed by a stream of the smallest particles, an electron was discovered, a carrier of negative elementary electric charge in atoms. The assumption that inside the electromagnetic field there is a photon was made in 1900 in the works of German physicist theorist, founder of quantum physics, Max Planck. In 1905, Albert Einstein, developing Planck's idea, postulated that electromagnetic radiation, or light, is nothing but a stream of separate quants, that is, photons. And the direct experimental evidence of the existence of photon was already obtained by American physicists, by Robert Millikan in 1912 to 1915, and by Arthur Compton in 1922. In 1919, English physicist Ernest Rutherford, as a result of the research in nuclear disintegration, discovered a proton, an elementary particle with a positive charge. In 1930, Swiss physicist Wolfgang Pauli postulated the existence of an elementary particle which almost does not interact with substance. And then in the mid-1950s, American physicists Frederick Reines and Clyde Cohen experimentally confirmed the existence of a neutral stable particle, neutrino. In 1932, English physicist James Chadwick, during his research on the interaction of alpha particles with beryllium, discovered a neutron, an elementary particle which is part of an atomic nucleus and which mass is close to a proton but has no electric charge. However, in spite of discoveries of an enormous number of the most diverse particles, the questions of describing the inner composition of atomic nucleus in modern science still remain unanswered. Since 1930 and almost to the beginning of the 1950s, the research of elementary particles was closely connected with the research of space rays. Starting in 1950s and until today, the main tool in physics for the research of elementary particles became accelerators, and the object of study – new elementary particles, which appear during collision of accelerated protons and electrons with substance. An enormous number of the most diverse particles was discovered since that time, and the diversity of their characteristics was quite unexpected for the scientists. They had to add such characteristics as strangeness, charm, and so on. It became clear that the world of elementary particles in its laws, properties, behavior is much different from the notions of classical physics. Today, an important discovery in the field of study of elementary particles is considered to be one of the results received with the help of Large Hadron Collider. Scientists have discovered a particle presumably similar to the Higgs boson. Actually, what scientists have found is not the Higgs boson. But these people, without realizing that yet, made a really important discovery and found much more. They experimentally discovered the phenomenon, which is described in detail in the book Alatra. Nowadays, physicists only complicate conditions of external observation, but so far they have no opportunity to observe subtle processes and understand regularities occurring within the system of the microcosm. For a consumer society, such riding around the bush is a natural process. After all, scientists are compelled to survive in literal sense in such egoistical community, applying their talent not for advantage of humanity, but for satisfaction of someone's ambitions, studying physics only in a limited framework of allowed conceptions. Therefore, modern high-energy physics in consumer society can be figuratively compared to an impressive installation for ignorant viewer, its financier, which, in fact, splits up big stones into pieces, which are called elementary particles. But splitting up such a conglomerate 
It is impossible to understand the essence of creation of sand grains. Today, many physicists try to come back again to the initial moment experimentally, to the direct way which their predecessors left. They understand that because of climatic situation on Earth, connected with the global natural changes, for the survival of human civilization we need a qualitatively new fundamental breakthrough in physics, especially methods of producing free energy, regardless of external conditions and existence of natural resources. Having the universal keys, the primordial knowledge, it is possible not only to open widely the door to the invisible world, but also to enter it, to get in touch with its source. In order to understand the laws of interaction of the microcosm, we need a radical revision of many traditional concepts and views, a qualitatively new view at physics. The primordial Alatra physics not only opens up prospects of an absolutely different vision of physical phenomena in the microcosm, it also gives its fundamental basis and laws of interaction. Primordial Alatra Physics